Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 19 of our series of session on F12 configuration for voucher type. So we have been understanding the F12 configuration related to sales and purchase voucher. In this session, let us explore it another option under F12 for sales and purchase vouchers. Let's go to tally and explore this option and understand how this option is going to be of any assistance in your organization. We are in the sales voucher. So let us explore the other option under show all options under F12 configuration. So I'm going to press F12 configure okay. and in today's session, we will understand this option of show compound unit of items based on rate okay. and once you enable this option the subsequent option of show details of compound unit also can be enabled if this option is no then you cannot enable the second option okay so first let us understand what is this compound unit under the playlist of inventory basics i have explained about the unit of measure compound unit so compound unit is a combination of two different unit linked together so example is box of 10 numbers or dozen of 12 numbers so if you have a item where you would want to have a compound unit or if you have set that item with a unit of measure of compound unit, then this option is going to be very helpful in making the quantity clearer in the invoice. Before we enable this option, let us go to the normal transaction and we will select an item with a compound unit and then we will see what is the default behavior and based on that, we will come back here and then we will enable this option and see what is the difference that we are going to achieve. I'm going to press control Q. I'm not changing anything. Control Q and I'm going to make a sales invoice. Party name. I'm going to select India Mart sales ledger. I'm selecting sales ledger. Now I had already created an item called compound unit item so that it becomes easy for us to understand so this is my stock item which is named as compound unit item and uh, this item so let us come back press backspace and then let us press control enter to see the unit of measure that we have associated with this stock item so my unit of measure is a compound unit where it says the unit of measure is box of 10 numbers okay which means now i can sell it in box or i can also sell it in loose which is which is in numbers also okay so i'm going to press control q because i'm not making any changes enter here enter i'm going to sell five box and five numbers so i'm going to say 5.5 and now it says 5-5 five five box so when you are invoicing if you see the customer might not be you know clear about the quantity right so let's say that now i'm going to say each box is going to cost me 500 so five box it is basically five and a half box okay so five box 2500 plus five numbers of which is half a box is 2750 okay now when you invoice it just says five dash five box but what happens if you are going to invoice a customer in numbers that means you know the the part of your box is you might be selling just two numbers or five numbers so in that case what happens so let's come back here again i'm going to press space bar enter okay and then i'm coming back to the quantity and i'm going to say 0.5 okay so in this case it says 0 dash 5 box again i'm going to say 500 so it is going to take 250 which is basically half the box okay 250 rupees 
Now to give more clarity to your customer on the face of the invoice, this is where Tally is now going to help you to use this option under F12 configuration. So I'm going to press F12 configuration and it says show compound unit of item based on rate. Okay. So I'm going to say make this as yes and I'm going to press control A. So I'm going to say five and say you are selling numbers, five numbers, numbers, enter. See now it is taking in numbers. So I'm going to say that my five numbers is going to cost, each number is going to cost me 50 rupees. So the 50 rupees is the rate per number. So what you do is by default, it will always take the primary unit, which is box 50, enter. And now see it is taking per box, which is the primary unit. So here you say, no, 50 rupees is per number, okay, enter. So now it is calculated. So now it is very clear. It is not showing you the confused unit of measure of 0.5 box or 0-5 box, which we saw earlier. So this is the advantage of enabling this option of show compound unit of items based on rate. So since we have made this as yes, you can now build in the secondary unit, which is the numbers and the rate also can be specified per number. Next option. So again, I'm going to press F12 configure and let us understand and see what is this option of show details of compound unit. So this option is currently no. So we'll leave this as it is. I'm going to press control A. Let's go back <laughs> and come back to the fresh voucher so that we will not have any refresh issue. So I'm going to enter again. I'm going to select the same party, my sales ledger, and I'm going to say compound unit item. And now I'm going to again say, I'm going to say 5.5 box. Okay. I enter. Now it is showing me numbers, but then I want to sell this as per the box rate. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to say 500, okay, per box. And the moment the primary unit it considers, you will see here the quantity is now changed into five dash five box. So five boxes. Okay. What is this five dash again to give more clarity? You can go and extend the second option. That is, I'm going to press F12 here and now we will see show detail of compound unit. That means instead of showing five dash five box, you are asking Tally to specifically say how many box and how many numbers. So I come here and then I say Y for enter and I'm going to press control A. And now if you notice, you are able to see and the quantity is depicting here is very, very clear. So five box and five numbers you are selling and the rate per box is 500. So the amount is calculated automatically by tally as 2750. So this is where you can make use of this option of show compound unit of item based on rate. If you're going to sell the item based on the secondary unit rate, and also if you are selling the primary unit and also the secondary unit quantity, then this option of show details of compound unit when you make it as yes, it gives more clarity on the face of the invoice so that there is no ambiguity on understanding the total quantity received. What we saw is a very simple option which will be of immense helpful to your organization especially when you have stock item with compound unit of measurement so that while invoicing it becomes very clear for your customer to understand the quantity and the rate applied based on the unit of measure either in your primary compound unit or your secondary compound unit so i hope this will be helpful and thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session Thank you very much.